the relatively large contact area of the uh, tapered rollers allows the bearing to cope well with actual loading and because the bearing is tapered it can also cope with thrust loads as well but only in one direction so normally the bearings are in pairs and they're back to back and because the bearings are in that configuration you have an inner and an outer then the bearing as a pair can actually cope with thrust loading in both directions there are two components to the bearing we have the tapered rollers which are in a cage and we have a cup and the cup has got a corresponding taper in it and so as wear develops in the bearing then that wear can be adjusted out by simply pushing the tapered rollers further into the cup you may find this a lot of movement there and you can probably gauge the amount of movement if we take a close-up view between the tie wall here and the kingpin there we can see that amount of movement which is quite quite excessive so if you find this we're going to have to adjust the bearing to take up the wear it's escaping this one that's better and just lever split pin out note the portion of the pliers which we're using are actually the wire cutting section and if you don't press too hard so you go through the split pin that will actually grip on the split pin quite effectively and then you can leave, use the pliers as a lever to actually lever out the split we need to actually slacken off that castellated nut until the wheel spins freely but without any play almost so we'll give it just a little bit more wheel spins nice and freely stopping it with a hand because we're interested in what it does when it comes to a haul and that's it that started just to go backwards very slightly so we'll try it again wheel rotates nice and freely it slows down and it stops very gradually but when it does stop it's going to rebound slightly it just goes back very very slightly indeed so this is what we should end up with the top leg has been actually bent round the actual stub axle and the bottom leg has been bent round the other way but it's being cut short so it's not actually protruding or any danger of it getting into the bearing and then getting chopped off and breaking up parts of the bearing damaging the bearing also note that the the head of the split pin is nice and snug down in between two castellations you see some quite marked pitting on some of the rollers and that actually feels exceedingly rough to to touch so yeah this bearing is actually in, in quite a bad way again if we compare it to perhaps a, a new bearing you can see the the difference in the surface of the rollers and likewise if we actually have a look in the hub we can see here yeah the discoloration where the bearing has stood for a long while and again that uh, cup is beginning to actually break up so it's a, a sure case really of uh, renewing the bearings it's not worth putting the old bearings back in